I've just spent a week walking, scrambling and mountain biking using the new for 2024 Osprey Talon Velocity 30 here in the very handsome charcoal and tumbleweed yellow colour. And for fun, I filmed it entirely from the air using the Hover Air X1. So enjoy the video. Now the Talon is designed for multi-sport adventures and to allow freedom of movement. And in this large and extra large version, it weighs 1,010 grams. So that will enable you to move quickly whatever you, your load and here I am trying to go fast and light and not particularly looking fast and light but the dogs are definitely enjoying it anyway. So when I was scrambling using the pack I found it very unobtrusive and I hardly felt like I was wearing it and I think that was down partly to the really nicely adjusting harness system. Of course there's the shoulder adjustment and the standard harness adjustment plus two chest straps that are elasticated and the top one has a whistle. There's great storage all over with access to some very useful and well thought out pockets. The chest pockets have space for a 500ml bottle, either a firm one or a soft flask and there's a large pocket that's useful for a phone or compass, a smaller pocket to the other side for snacks or perhaps a small GPS and two large harness pockets that could take sunglasses or a mobile phone. Lots of storage options. The main compartment closes with a simple buckle and that gives access to a large rear stretch mesh panel that could take a helmet. There's a simple kind of hook and buckle closure on the top. There's side compression straps and a bottom section that is 420 denier nylon. The main pack itself is 210 denier nylon. There are pole fast storage loops that are adjustable and accessible. Lots of little clever compression straps and loops all over really. That'll take a pad at the bottom. I don't know what that one is. There's a tough DWR base that as, as I said is 410D. And in the large and extra large, this is adjustable via the airscape back. It has EVA foam on an Atalon frame sheet. There is access to an hydration pack and I think it carries pretty neat despite how badly I, I've packed it. So here there's a jacket just shoved in the top there that my son had put in and uh, that didn't fall out happily and I really could carry a, a lot of gear for all the family. I think you could even do a lightweight overnight camp using this using this pack. So just having that flap around the top and a drawstring I think does, as always with any packs, need to use a dry bag inside to fully protect your belongings. Inside there's a zipped mesh pocket with a key clip. It's a little bit floppy when completely empty because it's essentially frameless with just that EVA and Atalon back. But on this very warm day, I found the airscape back to be fairly well ventilated. It's close fitting, so it will be slightly warm, but uh, that's what you need to have a stable, close fitting pack that uh, absolutely moves with you. And move with me, it, it did. I've made this video because I just wanted to recommend it. I paid for the Talon with my own money, but I really enjoyed it and uh, would highly recommend you trying it. I think it's one of the best packs that I've ever used, albeit just for a week, but I don't doubt 
Osprey's reliability. So yeah, have a, have a check of it yourself and uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video from the lovely English Lake District and it's goodbye from me and my family. Please like and subscribe if you like this video.